Hi everyone, I'm Kira, Chief Designer in Aninix. We design a simple plugin for powerful interface animations right within your Figma interface. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to install plugin. I'll show you the main features. We'll create a simple animation together and I'm going to show you how to export it and share with developers. Nice and simple. So let's go. Okay, so let's start with installing plugin. To do that, you need to go to your community page on Figma and type in Aninix. The next step is to go to Plugins tab and find it. It's the only one. The next step is hitting this big install button. Now, I obviously do have that installed, so I don't need to do that. And just like that, your plugin is installed and ready for work. What is nice about installing Aninix from Figma is that you will always have an up-to-date version. Whenever we hit an update, you have the latest and greatest. Now let's go ahead and check how do we launch that. So to showcase you Aninix features, we're going to be using this frame with a playlist that we're going to be animating. In order to open this with plugin, first we need to select this frame and then go to quick commands by hitting command slash and selecting it from a list or find in the search of plugins. So then plugin will launch the import. Importing is easy and Enix will track the selected frame and will show you its name here. And if you don't have a frame selected, it will be also stated in the window. So you first need to select a frame and then hit this import button. The next step is selecting new project preferences. Uh, these are two basics that you need for your animations, which are frame rate and duration. Now frame rate is basically how many pictures the animation will show within one second. The basic frame rate for interface animations is 60 frames per second. Therefore, we have it by default. And five seconds is enough to create an animation. So let's go ahead and create it. Now we see that uh, the playlist frame has been imported quite nicely. Now, those of you who work in After Effects, you know how painful it is sometimes to import your designs there. We don't have those issues here with Linux. However, if you do experience some troubles, please let us know. We do work on improving this experience. Now, let me take you through the UI features of plugins that feel at home. The first is a viewport where you still see your design and just like in Figma, you can work with layers and also preview your animation. The bottom panel is a timeline where on the left side, you can see all your layers and we can see also that they are arranged just like they are on Figma. And the right panel is a properties panel and it changes according to what is currently selected on the timeline or in the viewport. Now, when you don't have anything selected, you see the basic animation uh, properties. So just like we selected when we launched the plugin, we still have the frame per second and we have our duration. Now, if we select a layer or a group in the timeline, we will see that there are a lot of properties of this group that we can change like opacity, position, rotation, and so on and so forth. And they are going to be changing according again to what have you selected. So let's go ahead and animate the screen. What we want from the album cover is to appear from the top, and then each sound in the list is going to appear from the side of the screen. To do that, we will need to change only two parameters of each, which are opacity and position. So let's start with the album cover. We have it selected on the timeline, and then we see all the properties of it. Now, as we said before, we want the opacity and position to change. I want my animation to start from the first second, so then I can go ahead and change the starting time to the second one. And then what I want to do is to create the keyframes for the opacity and position. To do that, I can simply click the keyframe icon on the right next to opacity and next to position. And you see that the first set of keyframes has been created. Now I move half a second further. 
and I add another set of keyframes. Now, why I do that is because this is actually the end position and opacity of the album cover that I want, that we see here. And the first set of keys is going to be the state where it is invisible and somewhere above the edge of the screen. So then in this set of keys, we will actually change the opacity to zero, and then we'll move it up the y-axis, let's say minus 20. So then it's above the screen. And this action created two segments of animation. And now when we move the playhead, we see that the album power actually arrives from the top of the screen and changes its opacity. And that's exactly what we needed. Now, if we select these segments, we can change the way the choreography of this animation works. To do that, we can change its value graph. And you already have in your Aninix some pre-default graphs that allow you to do so. And there are already some from Apple, from Material Design, but let's go ahead and select the basic out graph of Aninix. You see that it's changed, and let's take a look how the animation works now. Okay, that looks good. Now let me go ahead and do the same for all the songs in the list. I can select them all. And create the keyframes. And change the parameters. And also change their graphs. Here we go. So what we want to do now is to make this a bit less boring because currently everything appears at the same time. But we want the list to look a bit more alive. To do that, I would like to engage the offset. And luckily, we do have this feature on Aninix, so you don't have to move all the segments manually. On the right panel, you have the offset value that we can set. Let's say, for example, 0.3 seconds. And now you see that they are arranged automatically. Now let's go ahead and preview that. It looks good. Perfect. Now when everything is ready, we want to export our file. To do that, we tap on the export button, we can select the scale and the file. Let's say I want to give. And when the export is ready, we can just save the file. Let's say as a next step, I want to share my animation project with the developer. To do that, I can click the share button and I receive this link that can easily be copied and sent to your developer. Now let's open it in browser and see what we can do. Here in the web inspector, you can still preview your animation just like you did in the plugin. And you can select the property and see all the parameters that we have changed. It's a delay, it's duration, it's values that we changed. You see that for the opacity, we changed the start value from zero to 100%. And this is very valuable for your developers. I hope that you will love creating animations with Aninix. We are excited to see your new projects and we are looking forward to hearing your feedback about the plugin. See you guys in the next one. Bye.